Hi, my name is Rosie, and today I'm going to teach you how to draw a cute and an easy dog. So, let's get started. Alrighty, so this is the dog that we are going to be drawing today. So, the first step is to obtain your materials. So, I'm just using a blank piece of printer paper as well as any writing utensil. I'm just using this pen, anything will really work. So, the second step after gathering your materials, or the first step from gathering your materials, is going to be to draw an oval anywhere on your paper. I'm just going to do the center, just make sure it's not too close to the edge of the paper. So we're going to draw a lopsided oval that leans more horizontally, so more to the left and the right. So I'm going to draw that, just a medium-sized oval, right in the center of my page. The next step is going to be to create a semicircle on top of that previously drawn oval. So you're going to go ahead, just draw a semicircle, leaving some space right on the ends. The third step is going to be to draw the paws. So about an inch down from, this is going to be the head, so an inch down from the head we just drew, we're going to draw the paws. So for this, we're going to do this kind of squiggle shape, or you can think of it as an open curved teardrop shape. So we're going to make two of them right down here, leaving the ends open and having a curve at the bottom. Then we're going to connect these two by using three lines. So on the left, we're going to go right under the cheek right here and connect right to the kind of the center of that paw. Same thing over here, right kind of by that cheek into the center of the paw. And then finally connect the two through the center. Perfect. So now we're going to draw the hind legs. So for this, we're going to go ahead and do two heart, half heart shapes on both the left and the right. So starting right kind of where these little paws or legs are, we're going to start here. That's where the line's going to start. We're going to draw a half heart and bring it right back to that little crevice or that line, that first line. Same thing over here. Bring it right back to that little line where the line meets the paw, the bottom meets the paw. Now we're gonna go ahead and draw the tail. So right in this little crevice that we just drew where the body meets the hind leg, we're gonna go ahead and draw a line, sh line straight up, kind of point it, creating this little angle, and then kind of curving and coming back down to that same spot. All right, so then what's left is just gonna be the ears and the face. So for the ears, we're go gonna go ahead and go kind of right towards the top center of the dog's head and we're going to create a little line, little squiggly line, and bring it down to halfway to the dog's body. Same thing on the other side. You don't have to start from the same point. You can if you want. I'm not going to for this, but we're going to do a little curve and come to about the center so they match. Now, finally, the face. So for the face, we're going to go ahead and come to the semicircle we drew and draw two complete circles. They can be as big as you want or small as you want. And then we're going to draw two semicircles inside about half of the space of the original circles and we're going to fill those in and then you have your eyes so then next we're going to go ahead and finish off the face by adding the nose and smile so for the nose you can draw kind of an imaginary imaginary line from the ends of the eyeballs and draw another little oval and then you're going to go ahead and fill that in so it's a semi oval and then you're going to go ahead and add a little smile just right underneath of that and then optional, you can add a collar. I like to add this because I think it adds a little something extra. So what we're going to do is from both ends, from this left to this right, we're going to go ahead, create one more line connecting them, and then draw one circle right in the middle. And then if you want to, you can add a little heart. I like to, once again, I think it's just adorable. So there you go. You have a nice and easy, cute dog to draw. And this is super beneficial because it's a fun skill that you can show off to your friends and family, be it the life of the party. But then also, you can go ahead. It's quick and easy to draw if you want to draw it for somebody and just give them a little joy for the day. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. And have fun on your dog-making adventures.